Welcome again to my first video after the full release of Minecraft. Yay! It's here. Right at the moment I'm at my full automatic wheat harvester, the second version. Uh, I now use this harvester design and uh, I gave up the idea of counting every single plant. Now I use a butt switch array combined with a binary counter. Um, it will send a pulse after it reaches 17 uh, pulses from the butt array um, so that I can use bone meal in here. But it's not recommended to use bone meal for this design, it's only for automatic harvesting if you're not near your farm. Um, how it works? Well, pull this to the binary counter. If it reaches a certain number, it sends a pulse. This pulse will first reset the counter and then uh, activate this monostable circuit which will control the harvesting. Also this pulse will uh, lock the butt switch which will be unlocked again after the wheat got harvested. It's only to prevent the butt switch from uh, giving false pulls to the binary counters. But all in all, it's very simple. As I said, normally you would not use bone meal and not set it up to 17, but to something like, in this case, uh, 57. Um, the problem in this design is you need to be careful, you can't just go through and plant it like this because the butt switch takes time to send its pulls right now it's well only at four so if I now make this It's at 6. You see, um, in this case, you would have to reset the system by yourself, or you could make your own updates here. Whatever, reset the system. This will activate the harvesting, resetting all that stuff. And it's ready again. Oh yeah, um, because I needed the pl uh, more space for the butt switch, I had to uh, rewire the harvester and now I uh, use two water streams to keep the farmland hydrated. But, well, it's probably not the best harvester design. But if you want to uh, spend your redstone on something useful on your server or in your survival player world and you're bored, this could be something you'd like to try. Thanks for watching.